So let us speak about pathophysiology of muscle skeletal system. Muscle skeletal system yeah. means bones, uh, bones, joints, muscles, uh, and skin. Skin because also skin is a uh, is a muscle, uh, muscle skeletal system. First of all, to understand this uh, system, we have to understand the content, bone content. What does the bone content consist of? Uh, bone consists of organic and non-organic components. Organic are uh, proteins, non-organic are calcium and phosphorus. Calcium and phosphorus, they are bond, heavy bond, calcium and phosphorus. And helping of this bond is vitamin D, vitamin D, which we uh, reach from, uh, from sun. Sun, then skin, then liver, then kidney. Three stations for uh, vitamin D. Then bone is consist of cells, cellular container of bone are osteoclast macrophage, osteoblast for formation, and osteocyte, already, uh, already mature cell of bone. Osteoclast macrophage is uh, phagocytose bone tissue. Osteoblast formate bone tissue. Then you have to know that we have general regulatory uh, regulation factors of uh, this process and local regulation factors of this process. General regulation factors are hormones. We have parat hormone, uh, thyroid hormone, calcium, thyroid calcitonin, which regulate calcium level in the blood. One increase, one decrease calcium level in bone and in blood. Then insulin, insulin as anabolic hormone, for example. Then thyroid hormones in general because they, they regulate uh, uh, metabolism of cells and million uh, bone cells. Then uh, uh, some other tropic hormone, estrogen in female also regulates and it, uh, uh, it increases, uh, it activates uh, osteoblast in general. That's why in, in period postmenopause in, in female, they will, they will have osteoporosis and uh, other bone diseases. Uh, this is general regulators of uh, remodulation of bone. We have also local, for example, some mediators and some growth factors. For example, interleukin 1, 3, 5, uh, these, uh, they activate osteoclast. But interleukin 2, 4, 6, they activate osteoblast. Insulin like factor, insulin like factor activates osteoblast. Transformation factor, gamma and beta. Gamma activates osteoclast, beta osteoblast. Uh, uh, fibroblastic growth factor, or, or growth factor of fibro fibroblast also activate osteoblast, for example. Why we need to know these factors and why, they, why have, we have to know uh, which function of these factors, which activate osteoclast, which activate osteoblast, to know why some disease of bone are developed, for example, osteoporosis, for example, osteomalacia, frac fracture of bones, how the healing of fracture of bones. The most important factor which activate remodulation of bone is overload by exercises, overload on, on bones. It's a very important factor. Why? Because people lazy, which all the time in the bed, all the time, they will have bone problem because no, no, no remediation of bone. Can you imagine this? Yes, yes sir. Uh, <clears throat> then, then uh, this is about bone, this is about bone. Uh, bone uh, bone uh, uh, take place about 50 or 60 percentage of our weight our weight then we have join join the join is consist of bone ends bone end bone end then cartilage cartilage then this space and capsula capsula is synovial synovial membrane this space is uh, filled with fluid. We call this synovial fluid and ligament, ligaments, and uh, muscle ends, muscle, muscle ends. Yes. Uh, uh, this uh, this is the, uh, the joint 
joint formation or joint structure. Uh, joint structure, yes. Then what we have to know, which diseases there are could be developed in bone and in joints in general. There is not very, uh, very, uh, there is uh, not very, uh, a lot of disease. No, there is uh, some uh, diseases. For example, in bone, osteoporosis, the most, the most common, and osteomalacia. Malaysia. In joints, we have also diseases, arthritis, arthrosis, uh, uh, and we have other disease we call it chond uh, chondrosis, osteochondrosis, mm. osteochondrosis from a uh, cartilage problem, cartilage problem. About osteoporosis, the main link of osteoporosis is a disorder in remodulation, remodulation. Of, of bone. Or other words, osteoclast become more active than osteoblast. Mm. Then osteoclast will osteoblast. digest tissue of bone, bone tissue. Then bone tissue, this become uh, become uh, less materially less material. It means when we do X-ray, we will we will we will find uh, we will find the space space between in in, in inside bone inside bone black space because the material of bone it become less. Uh, 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 this is uh, osteoporosis. Osteoporosis we can divide into. By age, by age. By, we can divide it by age. Uh, it means before 50 and uh, for uh, more than 50. Before 50, uh, we call it pre and post. Pre, it's pathological, surely pathological due to some diseases according to some factors, what I said, factors. For example, hormonal problem, hyperparathyroidism, for example, hyperparathyroidism, uh, and diabetes. Caution syndrome due to cortisol level high. It's removed uh, calcium from bone. <coughs> uh, estrogen problem mm -hmm. in young uh, in young girls, for example, female disorder in hormonal. Mm -hmm. And post, post also it's uh, but we call in post. It seems as physiologically osteoporosis. Why? Because sure it will be developed osteoporosis after 60, 70 yeah. years, for example. Because uh, uh, dysregulation, dysregulation, and among female, postmenopause, no estrogen, so it would be developed osteoporosis. Uh, how the how the bone seems in osteoporosis? It seems as it's uh, it's become uh, very less dense. Yes, it could be fractured like, uh, very easy, easy, easy to fracture. Yeah. This is the difference between osteoporosis and osteomalacia. Malaysia. Osteomalacia. The problem that non-organic components of bones, it's not uh, not developed. It means that the bone become more organic. More organic means the bone become easily break. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Flexibility less. Flexible. Yes, yes, yes. Very easy to, uh, to uh, not as osteoporosis. It means the difference between osteoporosis and osteomalacia that when I take the bone of osteoporosis and do like this, it will fracture. If I uh, take the bone of osteomalacia and do it like this, yeah. yes, it will do shape, for yeah. example, curve shape, for example, like this. The most common example of osteomalacia is vitamin D deficiency disease, rickets. Rickets among babies, among kids, rickets, deficiency. But rickets could, do, could be two types, for example, vitamin D purely deficiency, no vitamin D, and it's good treated by sun, uh, sunlight and some uh, drugs, yes, medicine, offense. And uh, vitamin D resistance disease uh, due to kidney problem, for example, or liver problem. Mm. It means that vitamin D, as I said, it's not metabolized in liver or kidney. Mm. He has kidney disease. That's uh, why uh, 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 last formation vitamin D, it's not become in kidney. Mm. It's not doing in kidney. So he even you will give him vitamin D, no treatment, no no result. Because the problem not in vitamin D, problem in kidney, kidney for example. This vitamin D, this rickets disease. <coughs> osteomalacia. Uh, there are other examples of osteomalacia, but they are very, very rare. Rare, rare due to calcium deficiency or phosphor deficiency uh, and so on. Uh, 
this is about bone, 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 uh, bone diseases in general, osteoporosis, osteomalacia. About joints, joints, the most common is arthritis. Arthritis, yes. inflammation of joints. Joint. Right. You have to know what? That the main place, the main target cells of arthritis is synovial capsule yes. and synovial membrane. Yes. That's why other scientists call arthritis as synovitis. Synovitis. Due to inflammation of synovial membrane. Yes. This, is, uh, this is osteoarthritis or as arthritis. Understood? By mechanism, there are two types. Alger allergic rheumatoid arthritis. This allergic, second type or third type. Uh, and non allergic. Non allergic is Most purely inflammatory, inflammatory, purely infectious, or by In other causes. Arthritis. What is the, how to differentiate between them? Uh, rheumatoid arthritis it, uh, uh, it's Metacarpal. more common in small joints and, and it can be flight what does it mean flight flight it means today i have hair osteoarthritis tomorrow i have hair osteoarthritis change yes change position As, uh, uh, then morning stiffness yes morning stiffness yes uh, and uh, in blood analysis we can find a specific marker of rheumatoid arthritis is uh, mainly immune uh, change in immune globulin M. We call it rheumatoid factor in blood. We can find it for ensuring for uh, diagnosis. Rheumatoid arthritis could be after tonsillitis. The main cause is beta, uh, beta hemolytic streptococcus group A, which is causing tonsillitis. Then it can be heart disease, valvular disease, and then joints, rheumatoid arthritis. About arthritis, but not allergic, not rheumatoid, it uh, it's, uh, could be uh, most common in big Bones. joints, big joints, not small joints, big joints. And it's not flight as rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, you also have to know the general uh, symptoms, general symptoms of joint inflammation of arthritis. There are general symptoms. Which general symptoms? Swelling, Swelling redness, redness, redness. redness. Uh, the, this, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the movement become less. become less. Yes, he cannot move. It means dysfunctional, painful movement, and pain, prostaglandin release. Pain in movement, and mm -hmm. due to uh, mediators of pain, prostaglandin yes. and the mediators. And uh, yes, because in arthritis, we said that uh, we have uh, synovial membrane, synovial membrane, and then these uh, these all mediators it will, each other. it will uh, accumulate it here in this side, and among them there is pain mediators. But you have to know also that in, in arthritis, these mediators then they uh, accumulate it in cartridge, mm -hmm. and they will uh, cause. Particles, uh, particles some damage of cartridges mm. so arthritis in the future it will lead to chondrosis chondrosis problem in cartridge cartridge uh, damage yeah. so this is arthritis in general second type of disease of joints is chondrosis Controsis. problem in cartridge the cartridge become in general world, the cartridge are uh, some, uh, something eat cartridge. cartridge. Also, it means the cartridge become degenerated De De due to this regulation of re regeneration of uh, cartridge. Right. This one and the most common main link of chondrosis is overload mm -hmm. on joints. Mm -hmm. It's among fatty people. Yes. And by the time they eat cartilage, cartilage become disregulated, uh, disgenerated. Uh, this, in general, our topic of muscle skeletal system. But don't forget and not this that among these diseases there is also hereditary diseases yes, hereditary. of bone and joints and so on. The most common hereditary disease is. Marfan, Marfan, Marfan syndrome, syndrome. syndrome, Marfan syndrome, collagen, collagen, uh, collagen genetic disorder, collagen, collagen, you know, collagen, yes, collagen protein, F yes, fibrillin, my fibrillin, uh, so it will, he will have disorder in 
joints in skin in bones and uh, he, uh, he will have long uh, fingers mm -hmm. and uh, they are uh, like mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. fingers mm -hmm. uh, yellow uh, yes uh, some something yellow eyes and uh, some heart diseases lung disease because fairly is uh, it's everywhere this fairly Finally, uh, this in general is a muscle skeletal system disease. Yes, yes. I would say that there is a lot, but they are rare yeah. for these symptoms. Uh, Behjet also syndrome. Behjet syndrome. Take med syndrome. <laughs> uh, this in general uh, about uh, uh, muscle skeletal system. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.